That is some serious pain. I'm just frustrated, that's it. <laughs> Angry with being injured and frustrated at knowing I could do much better. <laughs> Time for Corey to fight. And as usual, he's not exactly short of confidence. Well, I mean, there's a difference between fighting 70% and fighting 100%. And I haven't fought 100% yet because there's no point in hurting my friends. Pay attention. You're about to see what 100% looks like. Come on, baby. Make your move. Uh, no, 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 stay no. there, stay there. With three defeats in a row, this is the worst our athletes have done in any location so far. I went for the my move too, too soon. I should have waited till he got a little more desperate and then gone for it and got myself off balance. And he knew I was going to go for it because he, he kept putting his knees out there, hoping that I would do it because I think he was, getting, he was getting tired of his arms being pulled on. So, But frustrating. He didn't deserve to win that one. No. But having won a fight at the practice competition, there are high hopes for Mark. I think Mark's going to get it. Mark's seen a few fights. He knows how people are going down. Saw how Rich went down, saw how I went down. He's just got to wait. Wait longer than he thinks he needs to wait. Take your time, buddy. Take your time. You got all day. Yeah, hold it. Damn it. Oh, he had that. <laughs> I can do better than that. That was shit. I'm not even out of breath. Shit. It's only the first round, and all Strong's work is unravelling. But now, the big man steps up. Everybody's out so far, so it's left on me. And I still think they think it's a joke that we came in here and thought we could do something, so I got to show them we can. You know, I got uh, elders walking up to me telling me they got their money on me. That means a lot. Brad psychs himself up as Strong makes a few last-minute adjustments to his outfit. They needn't have worried. My first fight, I was going against a 12-year-old. Well, he was at least 16, but he looked like a 12-year-old. So I don't even really consider that a match. <laughs> A slight mismatch, perhaps. Fucking glad one of us. Brad's easily through. 
So easily, in fact, that the judges put him straight into his second round fight. This time against some more serious competition. The guy I went against next, my second round, is the same cat who beat Corey. So you know this cat is serious. He knows how to handle his business. Man up, let's do something. Our athletes celebrate Brad's second victory. But Brad's opponent begs to differ. He claims Brad hit the dirt first. Fortunately, Mark's not the only one who saw the opponent's knee go down first. And after a bit of debate, the judges give it to our man from Oklahoma, who celebrates with a bit of flapping. Last little cat was good. He was quick. For a second, I thought he had me because I know he went down first, but the way he acted, he thought he took it. Got a little paranoid. <laughs> Now the pressure's on Jason. If he doesn't beat his opponent, Brad will have won the athlete's competition. Nobody scares me and I don't ever enter the ring knowing I'm gonna get beat. I always enter it thinking I'm gonna win every time. Pink panties all the way! Woo! <laughs> Jace, you're flying the flag now, mate. After 15 extraordinary minutes, Jason's epic bout is still going on. Jason's gonna get through on this one. Yeah, yeah he's gonna win. You can play this game all day long. <laughs> Yank on it! Death grip! He's down. The fifth of the six athletes to go out without a win. Fought a good fight, I guess. I'm not happy. I'm angry. And... Disappointed. Whatever, they took me out, man. There ain't nothing to do about that. With two wins to his name, Brad is the last man standing. But the day isn't over yet. It, there was no doubt to me that I was going to go all the way. And I won, you know, and that's, that's something that I expected to do. The athlete's competition is in the back. But if Brad wins his next round, he becomes an officially ranked Mongolian wrestler and gains the rather excellent title of Elephant. It's going to be basically the luck of the draw, but uh, it doesn't come down to that. If you're going to win, you're going to win. So it doesn't matter who I get matched up against, I'm going to end up taking it. Worryingly, his quarterfinal draw is against the tournament favourite. But at least now, Brad has the benefit of his own team of supporters. Go on, Brad! Brad! 
As it turns out, Brad's lost to the eventual overall winner, so no shame there. And Brad has saved the day for the athletes and their coach, Strong. All of us have come here and put ourselves through hell, basically, to be able to compete in this competition. I had something to prove not only to myself, but I had something to prove to the trainer. Brad is the last man standing. <laughs> Next time on Last Man.